Continuing to celebrate Happy Cat Month this September. It's important to remember that it's not just our beloved house cats that deserve happiness, but community cats like the ones that are very talkative today deserve it too. Julie Newbel from El Paso Animal Services has brought us a couple of those community cats. Uh, and she's going to talk to us more about how we can ensure that these kitties right here stay safe and happy. Let's start with this, Julie. Cats like these that are found on the street, these little ones, even the older ones, there are laws against them that protect them, right? Yeah, absolutely. There is an El Paso ordinance that was passed in 2016, which allows cats to be free roaming in our community. And I mean, they deserve to be happy just like any other cat too. And we do have a lot of programs in place for the community to take advantage of to help us control the cat population right. in our community. Um, so of course we have our TNR program, which is our community cat program, pretty much where we just ask the community to help us by trapping these cats, bringing them to our shelter, where we spay and neuter them, vaccinate them, microchip them before returning them back to the communities that they come from. I know you want to go back out into the community, <laughs> don't you? You don't, you don't want to be here sitting with me, I know. And, and brother or sister over there is having the same reaction. Now, if folks find one of these adorable kittens out on the street or mama or papa, well, let's start with the kittens. They, you shouldn't take them, right? They, you shouldn't kitten nap them, yeah, right? They, you should leave them alone. <laughs> and why should they do that? Yeah, because kittens like these, they need their mom, especially, I mean, I don't know if you guys saw the segment we had two weeks ago where we had even younger ones than these. Yes. They rely on mom for so much. Her, her milk has all these vital nutrients that you just can't replicate with formula. And also just because I, um, there's just, it causes mom to reproduce again mm -hmm. once you remove those kittens from them. So you might see them and think like, oh, like there's no mom there, they need my help. But if they're happy, healthy, they look plump, they're warm to the touch, they don't have crusty eyes or anything like that, that means they're being cared for and they're better left there. Once they're old enough, around two months of age, that's when you can bring them to the shelter that we can put them through the TNR program. And explain that TNR program for us because it's a huge part of what you guys do, right? Yeah, absolutely. So pretty much um, before, prior to 2016, cats were just rounded up um, and mass euthanized and that obviously did not, did not solve the problem mm -hmm. of stray cats. Um, what actually happens instead is what's called the vacuum effect. It just causes more cats to move in to over reproduce because there's a resource there that's caught helping them survive out there. Mm -hmm. And then it just continues the cycle of cats in our community. So instead by spay neutering them, returning them back to their community, you help stop um, unwanted behaviors and also of course unwanted litters. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know any litters that would be unwanted. I mean, these are absolutely adorable, and you're trying to escape again on me. <laughs> all right, that's all the time we have. Julie, thank you so much for bringing these adorable kittens with us. And remember, you can always learn more over on our website at KTSM.com. All right, we'll see you in just a little bit here on KTSM 9 News at noon.